from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your cardio hit workout. So today I have my star client and good friend, Jacqueline Zook. You may recognize her from TV and film. Be sure to follow her at Jacqueline Zook so you don't miss anything coming up for her. We're gonna be doing cardio intervals in high intensity interval training. So what that means, we'll start it at a certain level and then we'll progress. The idea being that our heart rate gets up, it comes down a little bit and then it gets up again. Really great way to have maximum calorie burn and fat burning. So the great thing is beginners, you're always gonna have an option to stay at that first level and then you'll also have an option to progress two different times within that circuit. So each exercise, three versions, we'll go 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest. As always, if you need a break, take a break, you can always hit pause, grab water, or if you don't wanna do something, just keep moving. It's cardio, we just wanna be moving. All right, are we ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay, okay so we're gonna start a quick little warm up. We're just marching, rolling through the shoulders. Remember with our warm-up, we want dynamic warm-up. We just want to make sure that we're getting the joints moving. Big deep breath in. Muscles warm. And just moving through everything. We'll get more of our static stretching at the end. Let's take our arms and legs out wide. We'll roll through our back just a bit. Just flat back down. Round it up. And we'll just go two more times with that. And up. Last one. And then just little taps across, really reach long through those fingertips so we're getting the stretch through our arms and our back. And then we'll take that over our head. Perfect. That one's already going faster back than me back there. <laughs> That's all right, because you're gonna do the hard version. So then let's get little hamstring curls, just bringing those heels up in the back, opening up in those hip flexors. And then we'll switch them to the front, take them little knee raises. And then now that we're warm, little kicks out front, so little toy soldier kicks. Tighten those hamstrings, most of us are. Breathe. And then a couple little rolls through the hip joints. So just out to the side. Yeah. And then let's go back to those hamstrings. So just a little basic cardio move before we start our circuits. And then let's take those hands up. Remember, if you need more of a warm-up or a stretch, get it on your own. You can always take more time if you need to. And we're gonna get more of that stretching at the end, those long, static stretches. So we'll just go a few more seconds with this and then we're gonna jump into our first exercise. My heart's pumping, how about yours? Pumping. Good, all right. So tap it out, breathe. Our first exercise, remember we're going 45 seconds, is just your basic knees. So we're just gonna be pulling them in one at a time. We'll start in five seconds. Here we go in three, two, bring them up. So just bringing them up, knees coming up high, hands over your head. You don't have to be going the same pace as us. You could always take it slower, work to your level, do what's best for you today. You might be having a tired day, it's totally fine. Just keep moving. Stay moving, stay safe. Those are my only rules when it comes to cardio and just exercise in general. We're over halfway there. Remember, this is our low impact option. So no jumping, easy on the joints, still getting that heart pumping. We got about five seconds to go. Keep breathing, three, two, and then tap it out. On these 15 seconds, guys, I wanted an active rest. So you're still moving. It's quick, but you're getting that heart rate down. All right, our next level, we're gonna go high knees jumps. You're here to here. So they're slow. Join us right now. Here we go. Up, up. Focus on popping off that foot, bringing that opposite knee up. Beginners, you can stay right here. You can stay with me at these high knees that we just did getting those hands moving. Advanced, intermediate, or to get that heart up, stay with Jack with that jump. Totally up to you, either option will do. We're over halfway there. You got this, guys. Remember, when you're pushing through this, you always have a rest coming. Always have 15 seconds. Here we go. We got about five seconds to go. You're either here or here. Breathe, three, two, 
tap it out. Good guys, 15 seconds, breathe. You can feel the difference, right? So, our last level, we're gonna go high knees quick. You still got five seconds, but it's here, high knees. Everybody ready? We can do this, 45 seconds, here we go. Bring them up. So I try to keep those hands up high so you have something to aim for. Beginners, you can always stay right here. Or if you just need a low impact version for your joint, you can also always go to that mid-level. Totally up to you. Jacqueline's a champ. She's gonna keep doing the hard stuff. Hands out, bring them up high. Oh, we're halfway there. That's hard. I'll let you stay there. Breathe. 15 seconds. Remember, as long as you're moving, and if you're at this level and you need to drop down to this for a couple seconds, it's totally fine. Five seconds to go, here we go. Breathe, four, three, two, tap it out. Good job, guys, right? So that's what we mean by high intensity interval. Get it up there, bring it back down. So we're gonna go back to low impact. We're gonna go to step out jacks. In five seconds, we're just stepping it out. Here we go. So arms and legs. So guys, even if you're advanced, I want you to stay with that very first level at the low impact version, because that's the idea with high intensity intervals. We need some of them to be a little bit lower, so that way that heart rate can get up, we can get maximum calorie burn. Also, as you can tell, you're gonna need that break, which is not really a break, you're still working, but a break from the jumping, a break from the super high intensity. 15 seconds. Whew. So we're already our second circuit, guys. They're gonna go fast. Five seconds to go. Keep breathing. Three, two, tap it out. 15 seconds break. So our next version is our full jumping jacks. We all know how to do them. Keep them light on your toes, soft knees. Beginners, you can stay with the low impact version. Everybody else, let's take it up. Here we go, full jacks. You don't have to go fast. You can keep them slow. You can be going way slower or faster than either of us. Beginners, you can always go right back to here. And I would encourage you guys, sometimes our brains want us to stay with those modifications. We convince ourselves that we can't do it. Just try it. You might be fine. And maybe you wanna do 20 seconds and then 20 seconds, you go back to the regular. Give yourself a chance to progress. Your body will thank you. We got about 10 seconds to go. Remember, you can be here at the higher impact or here at the lower. Four, five, four, three, two, relax. Tap it out, 15 seconds. Last progression, we're gonna take that jumping jack. We're gonna make it a star jack. Looks like this. Big star at the top. Don't care how high you get. You don't have to go fast. Keep them slow or keep the regular jumping jack or the step out. Star jacks, here we go. Bring them up. Woo! Sure your vertical is way better than mine. <laughs> or you can stay here with me, beginners. Or somewhere in between, we have that intermediate version. So give yourself time on those stars to really power it up. Just like that. Good guys, we're over halfway there. Remember then we're going back to low impact. You can be here too, right? Yeah. Woo, looking good. Nice. Ha, ah, 10 seconds, you got it guys. Any of those options, one, two, or three. Four, five, four, three, two. Relax, breathe guys, 15 seconds. We're gonna get one more exercise, then we're gonna take a minute break. Active rest where we can grab some water. All right, walk out burpee. We're gonna give you a couple of options. Let's turn to the side. So we're here, guys, go with us. We're here, walk it back, walk it in, bring it up, join me. Here we go, take it down, walk it back, walk it in, jump it up. Beginners, I'm gonna give you one more option. If that feels like too much, you have a chair, or the back of a couch, or a countertop, whatever it is, just make sure it's really sturdy. You can do the same thing from here. This is not the sturdiest chair. Maybe it'd be better if I put it up against the wall, but that's always an option for you. Just make sure that it's sturdy and you feel comfortable. So you can be all the way down the floor, if it feels a little better, stay here with the chair. We got about five seconds to go. And breathe. Three, 
two, relax. Good, you got an extra one, tap it out. So guys, next one, beginners, you can stay at the chair or at that level or it's your full burpee. So Jack's gonna go all the way down with that push up. I'm gonna keep it on the chair. Here we go, so up, jump it back, push it up, jump it in and up. There we go, so you can walk it back, walk it in for beginners or add that push up on the chair or whatever you're holding on to. It's up to you. And you can jump it back here too. Jump. And breathe. And take your time, guys. We want good plank form. What we don't want to do is go back with those hips up. Let that head puts pressure on the back. Make sure you're good plank form and bring it back in. Five seconds. One more. And relax. All right, guys, so everybody, we've got one minute. Grab a sip of water. I want you to have an active rest, so just keep your feet moving. If you feel, you can grab water. Oh, my gosh, one more. Thank you, I'm so glad you're here. Last version. Here we go, burpee tuck jump, watch Jack. We're going down, push it up, up, and jump it up. Jump right in, guys. I'm gonna show you with the, this is why I need an assistant all the time. So you can go down. Same thing here, guys. If you don't want to tuck jump, you can add those knees to the top. My goodness. Woo! The, my high heart rate is getting the best of that brain. Here we go, 15 seconds. Tuck jump, knees come out of the top. Really pull it in, use those abs. And breathe. Yes, last one. And relax. Now we get a minute rest. Oh my goodness, thank goodness you're here. Whew. Everybody tap it out. We wanna keep an active rest, so tap it, grab your water. If you wanna keep it up, you can keep that jog. Whatever works best for you. But we have a minute. So breathe, roll those shoulders, shake out those arms. So as you can tell, it's a cardio hit workout, but we're always working full body. So on that burpee, we got everything. Plank position for the abs, push up for the arms, tuck jump for the legs, and you're starting in a little bit of a squat. So we're getting it all in, guys. You still got 30 seconds, it's up to you. Do you wanna just grab another sip of water? You guys need to? Yeah, jog it out. I just wanna keep you moving, keep that heart rate up. The good news is, guys, we only have three more exercises with variations. It's gonna go fast, yep. All right, 15 seconds. Our first one we're gonna start with is your basic squat. So you guys know it, hips to the back. Watch me first. You're sitting low, I want those that butt low and power it up through the heels. Ready? Here we go, squat it down. And breathe. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Making sure you're breathing low as you can go. Beginners. You need to grab that chair to sit down, not to sit down for a break, but to help you know exactly how far you want to get back, that's a great way to do it too. Keep it here and breathe. These low impact ones feel easy, right? Well, maybe just because we had a minute break. Here we go. 15 seconds, strong legs, like I was just saying, cardio hit where we're getting a full body workout, making sure we're working hard. Five seconds and breathe. Last one, tap it out guys, 15 seconds rest. All right, next, squat jump. Exact motion you just did, just at the top, we're doing a little jump. Land soft, land low, I like those hands to go up. Beginners, you can stay with the regular squat. Here we go, drop it down, jump it up. So make sure, listen to your feet, that you're landing soft. Beginners, you can stay right here. You can still do that little raise at the top, but make sure you're not jumping. If those don't feel good on your joints. Everybody else, take it up, high to low. So even though you're jumping, I don't wanna see this. It's this, squat low, squat low. We got it guys, 15 seconds. Beginners stay in that squat. I know those legs are burning, right? Woo! Five seconds, breathe. 
two, relax, tap it out. Ha! Ah. All right, your last variation looks very similar. We're just gonna turn it so it's a 180 squat. So touch it down, turn it, touch it down, turn it. Or stay with the regular jump squat or regular squat. Here we go. Down and here. Touch. So with that touch, guys, I don't want this. We're not touching there. Get that butt down to touch. Breathe, beginners. You can stay with that regular squat. Oh, you can do it. I know, burning, right? Woo, you can also tap it in. Beginners, you can still get the 180, but without the jump. Here we go. 15 seconds. Breathe. Woo. Yes. I know. Five, four, three, two. Relax. I know. Yeah, legs. You know we had to sneak it in. We can't let it be straight cardio. You know, we're working everything. Breathe, guys. I know that heart is pumping. Next one's easy. All we're doing is tapping back. Watch me tap forward. That's why we put these at the beginning. So you get that little break for your heart rate, for your muscles. Let's get ready. Those legs are gonna be working hard again. But don't worry, we're gonna break here. Reach long, step to the back, and breathe. Just tapping. We're about halfway there. You got it, guys. So you get a little breather. Easy. Ha. Huh. And we're almost done. Keep that in mind as we push through these final couple things. Five seconds. And breathe. One. Relax. Tap it out. All right, guys, you probably guessed it. Alternating lunges. Watch me. Lunge back. Step it in. Lunge back. Beginners, if you need to stay with the taps, totally fine. Okay, let's turn to the side. Here we go, lunge it back, tap, bring it up. I like to just get the arms moving with it because that helps us maintain good posture and abs and also gets those arms working too. We're still getting the contraction. Yeah, you can take those hands over the head if you want more heart rate, more shoulder movement, totally fine. Beginners, if you need to stay with that tap, totally fine to stay here. Breathe, we're about halfway there. Try to get low if you can, guys. Remember, the lower we get, the more we activate those glutes, right? And hamstrings, the easier it is on our knees, too. Breathe. Yeah, here we go. Last three, two, one. Tap it out. All right, guys. Last one, you probably guessed this. Jump lunges. So you're here, power it up, switch it. That feels like too much, stay with your regular alternating or your tap backs. Last one and this one, here we go. Bring it up and low. And breathe. Yes, love how she's getting low. Beginners, you can just alternate. You're still gonna feel those legs burning. Still feels like too much. Take it to those step backs. Very first one that we did. We're halfway there, guys. So remember, any of those options will do. Yeah, you're gonna feel your abs. When you feel up balance, don't worry. That's your abs working hard. Breathe, yeah, 10 seconds. Alternate or jump. Four, three, two, relax, right? So his legs burning. Guys, good news. One more to go. One more exercise. Three progressions, they were cooling it down. I told you it was quick. All right, mountain climbers, but we're gonna modify it first. So we're gonna come down our plank. You can go that way. We're here, just bring those knees in one at a time. Nice and slow, focus on your abs. Beginners, you can always go back to that chair. That's what I'm gonna do. So we're here, make sure it's nice and steady. Bring those knees in. Remember, the further in, you get those knees, the more ab work we're gonna get, right? You can feel it, Jack? Yeah. Nice. So breathe. If you need a little break for your wrist, drop it down to the elbows, come right back up. We got 10 seconds. And breathe. Abs pulled in. For four, three, 
three, two, relax, stretch it back. All right, guys, our next progression is just our regular mountain climbers. You've done it a million times before, either all the way down or on your chair, little jump, nice and light. Ready? Here we go. So chair or floor. Guys, watch with Jack. Either position, if you're chair or floor, you're in a good plank position. See how our hips aren't coming high? We don't want to be here. That's putting pressure on our back. You want to be nice and low in that plank. Don't worry about speed, guys. You don't have to go fast. If you want to be here, whoo, slow, that's fine. I just want good form. And beginners, if you want to stay in that regular, first one we did, totally fine. We're so close. Just about 10 seconds. Looking great, you got it. Yeah, guys, if you need a break, that's totally fine. Even if you're at the level with Jack, you can take a quick break, come right back to it, and relax, stretch it out. Woo. Nobody is perfect. Not even someone as fit as this. Last one, guys. You can do this. All right, watch me. Side to side, it's a double mountain climber. So here, back to center, here. So Jack's gonna go there. I'm gonna show it on the chair. Last 45 seconds. Here we go. Watch how she gets it close to the elbow. That's gonna target those obliques. If you're here, guys, again, make sure your chair is steady. Side, back, side, back. Breathe. We're halfway there, guys. You can do it. Beginners, you can always go into that regular, just knees in, or mountain climber from here. 15 seconds, so close. You got this, Jack. Woo! Here we go. Keep breathing. This is our last push. Four, three, two, relax. Oh, man. Breathe. Good work. I'm sweating. I was doing low impact. I don't know how you're feeling. Woo! All right, guys, just tap it out nice and light. Woo! And breathe. Here we go. Roll through those shoulders. And bring them back to the front. Good, guys. Big deep breath in. And out. And breathe in. And out. Let's take one big stretch over to the side. And breathe. Let your head drop. Focus on your breathing too, guys. I know that heart is still pumping. Inhale and exhale, other side. And stretch, breathe. There we go. Whew. And again, just little taps, heels in front. Excellent. Yep, so again, big rolls through those shoulders and then to the front. Just because we worked them a lot, let's get a little quad stretch. So you can either grab the wall or grab a friend, tilt the hip forward. If that feels like too much, guys. Grab that chair, put it on the back of the chair. Totally fine. Stretching through the quad, around the knee. And same thing, other side. Whew. I can do it. Maybe I can. Uh, so much better working out with friends. I should have you every time I shoot anything. Oh my goodness. Whew. All right guys, shake them out one more time. Big deep breath, in, deep breath in and out. And that was your cardio hit workout. Great job everybody. Good work. Whew.